Hey, welcome back. We're playing more World Frost, and I have a confession. I actually lost a ton of footage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about it too much. Basically, I was trying to free up space on my drive for recordings and ended up deleting a bunch of footage. So, we missed out on some stuff, unfortunately. But that's okay. We're just going to do some new runs. Um, I beat the game, or did our first complete run. Uh, it was quite fun. Uh, we won with a uh, kind of smack back strategy, which was pretty cool. And Snoof was absolutely the MVP. I mean, look at that guy. Best doggo. Um, we also unlocked a new tribe, which is the Shade Mancers, which look really, really cool. Super excited to try them out. Uh, full disclosure, I actually started a run with a Shade Mancer character, and then the recording died, I think maybe one or two battles in. So that was a bit of a bummer, but uh, I ended up restarting anyway. <clears throat> so we're going we're gonna to try fresh. But, uh... I got to see a little bit of what they do, but not too much. Um, so I'm still excited to explore them. I think all of them have these really cool masks, which is super tight. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Um, all right, let's 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 get into it. We got Whamwell. She looks cute, kind of like uh, some anime character. <laughs> uh, Shayun, Shayun. What, what, like, holy cow, badass. Really liking the color scheme and mask. Um, got Barrage, 6-4. Kind of, kind of a squishy hero, but 4, four attack is quite nice. Uh, and Womp Snow. She looks she's going to smack you up. Womp Snow looks really strong, not, not going to lie. 9-5 is kind of insane stat line. Um, and then playing Frost is uh is really really good but uh obviously we're gonna try the shade mancers so let's go here shay yoon rip <laughs> <clears throat> all right first battle um let's take a look at our deck seems like uh we definitely Looks like the same deck I had last time, so we still only have Snoof because I'm terrible at recalling my uh, companions. I need to remember to do that at least once. And then uh, we got uh, a summon card, which summons a spirit. Uh, the spirits are kind of interesting. Essentially, they they spend one health every turn uh, they that they uh, attack and can't be healed. But uh, you can resummon them over over again. It's not like a one-time summon, so you can have multiple Jinjins on the on the field. And um, the cool thing about Aimless, I learned, is that it's actually this. You can control the row that it hits in, which is super helpful sometimes because um, sometimes there's only one enemy in the row, <clears throat> which means um, that it's more guaranteed and it's not so much of a, of a downside. Tar blades are actually an interesting upgrade to uh, the the scrappy sword in that sometimes it can hit for quite a lot if you've got like four tar blades in your hand it, it deals four which is quite nice but um, obviously as your deck gets bigger they become less and less good and it's kind of awkward because a part of you like wants to get more tar blades so you're hitting more but then also typically with games like this you want to like get rid of your starting like strike cards. Um, and Tarblade definitely gets worse as you know, if you're only if you only have one Tarblade in your hand, uh, it's only dealing one damage, which is obviously not great. So um, so we'll see. We'll see if we wanna like find some if there's any additional Tarblade synergy or if there's uh, you know, maybe a easy way to get rid of all all of them. Also, it'd be kind of funny if we change the name of Tarblade. I don't know if it affects the uh, the text here. Damage equal to the number of tar blades is like not even a tar blade anymore, but maybe it counts. So that would be kind of fun. 
Anyway, enough talking. Let's get into it. Um, notably, Shayun has kind of low health, so um, let's summon uh, Junjun first. Kind of use him as a tank, and then uh, let's get our snoof out here. <clears throat> um, so we'll swap here, and Junjun will die. Let's see, Snoof should go now. It's nice. And then, uh, let's see. He's gonna attack for four and he's gonna die, so that's good. We can maybe just Tarblade here. Nice. Next wave. Let's uh, draw a new hand. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, where like, if you draw all of your tire blades, it's kind of insane. I mean, look at this. This is going to deal five. And then four. So we're just one-shotting this guy. Um, do I want to kill him? I guess it's somewhat okay. We're just going to go to the next round first. Big ping! Uh, we're gonna hit for barrage, so I actually want to go down a row. I think maximize my damage here. Smack here. I'm pretty sure my leader attacks first. Yeah, that's right. So now we get to freeze. That's crazy good. Let's reroll. Um, we'll tar blade here. I mean, so far starting out, Tarblade is like incredible. Uh, but I also see why it could get us into trouble later on. Let's just attack. Yeah, easy. <clears throat> Yay! Victory! Um, I definitely want to go with additional companions. I like stacking the companions. They're really interesting. Alright, let's see what we got. Got Palm Bomb. Five damage to all undamaged enemies. Uh, that seems quite good. Uh, especially for each wave. If you can line it up potentially. Five is, five is a lot. You can, card efficiency wise, if you can line it up on like two or three en enemies, that's a single card dealing 15 damage or something like that. That's uh, super efficient if you can meet the criteria. Um, <clears throat> palm Mask. Summon. Um, and it's also giving your, like there's an enemy on the other side of the board. I don't know if I like that. <clears throat> we had a uh, molten dip before increase power by two. It's actually super good. Um, that was our first run, I think, where we had barrage. It's pretty safe. We tend to summon a lot of dudes, but I kind of want to. I'm gonna go pom bomb. Companions. All right, we got Shen. Overburn. Loads when more than equal to health, damaging all targets in the row. Okay, so this is like a stacking counter, and when it reaches the same, either when it gets high enough or their health gets low enough, it, it blows up and then does some AoE damage. That seems interesting. Um, so Shen starts out applying one overburn and then increases his overburn when he gets hit. But he only has six health, so that seems kind of slow to me. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Vesta, double the target's overburn. Okay, so they have to have overburn to start with, and then she doubles it. 
on a four count. I mean, if you're going an overburn build, maybe. Monch. Big Monch. <laughs> Man, I love the art for this game so much. I know I've, I've, I've been saying that for a while, but I just really do. Uh, eat allies in the row, absorbing their health and attack. What? That's crazy. You can just make a giant monch. And and uh, we have like spirits and stuff to feed him. I mean, Overburn looks interesting, but this sounds fun. I wanna feed I wanna feed the monch. <laughs> Alright, let's let's feed Monch. <clears throat> Okay, drafting another card. Whoa, was this shiny? Was it just me? Did I just see this like sparkle? Okay, Barry Sis. She get you got you got a knife in your back, girl. Uh when hit, add lost heart health to random ally. Okay, okay. So super health efficient. Well, that's I uh, just looked over and realized that um, a bunch of my progress didn't get saved. <laughs> so we're going to skip ahead a little bit here, I guess. Uh, let me catch you guys up on what you missed. Um, so we picked up Monch. I think you guys saw that. And we went for um, Tusk. We ended up picking up Tusk uh, to synergize. And eventually we picked up this, uh, this egg also, which is quite cool. Um, so when the egg dies, it summons this Dreg Shade, who looks insane. Uh, he attacks for 15. Um, but this also obviously has synergy with Monch, because Monch can and kill your own uh, allies. So uh, The only interesting thing is that this egg being destroyed puts it in an, in an injured state, so I haven't really figured out how how that works. Um, and then we picked up uh, Blonky, who I renamed to Mr. Mime. Um, we're about to put a charm on him, actually. To make him a 3-3, I found this charm called Balance Charm, which uh, just sets a character's stats to 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Um, a couple other things we, we drafted. Uh, we picked up a Fallow Mask and a Bebop Mask. And uh, also we got a journal entry, which uh, I'll, I'll show you guys because uh, I think it's cool lore. Uh, kind of explains a little bit about this Shade Mancer tribe. So it's all about shades. Um, before the Wild Frost, shades were uh, elusive shadow creatures known for their ability to possess objects. These rarely seen beings could occasionally be found in dark, cold places like shells and pots. Uh, very cute. After the Wild Frost, as the world grew colder and darker, shades became more prevalent and powerful. They began to possess dangerous objects and then animate them into monstrous opponents, like these cute little snail and acorn monsters, which are still adorable. Uh, finally, a tribe known as Shade Mancers found their way to harness the power of these creatures. Using uniquely crafted masks, they were able to turn them into reliable allies. Um, so cute. Also kind of explains the ma mask theme that's going on with these Shade Mancers. Just super dope. Um, yeah, so I thought this was a very cool lore behind the kind of like Shade Mancer thematic and why they're all like sporting such dope masks. Which I thought was very very cool. Um, I know I keep I keep like bringing it up again, but like holy cow, I love the art in this game. Everything just makes me so happy. I mean, just look at these guys, man. This guy is so big and happy looking. <laughs> Uh, this guy gave me like super Mr. Mime vibes, so I was like very, very happy. Um, we picked up uh, these uh, additional shade summons. So Bebop uses this Overburn. Um, it's a new mechanic that basically says when 
either the overburn stack reaches their health or their health goes down to meet, meet the overburn stack, uh, it explodes, damaging all allied or allied, basically enemies uh, in that row. So that's kind of an interesting mechanic. We, we passed up a, on a couple uh, companions that stack overburn uh, in favor of some other stuff. I was kind of really interested in the Monch synergy. Um, but that, that's definitely an interesting draft around mechanic. And then Fallow is just kind of a, a very solid 8-2 companion uh, with Barrage. Seems quite solid. Very, very solid tank. Um, yeah, so that's that's been good. We beat the first boss. It was the... Uh, it's that caterpillar ice creature dude again beat him pretty handily and i, I have to say this par bomb card is is doing some work man like constantly 10 to 15 attack in one card pom bomb uh so really happy about that card so far so anyway we uh found a couple other things got some charms got some money and now we're about to go shopping so that about catches everyone up again apologies for not a having that recording all right let's see we got shade wisp summon a copy of an enemy on your side with one health wow that could be really interesting uh there are some really annoying enemies frost bell applied to frost barrage that could be really good some of those enemies hit quite hard Azul Candle, double the target's Overburn. Uh, also does one damage. We also got the show She Popper Mask. Summons a Sheep Popper. Oh, that's Sheep Popper. When destroyed, deal eight damage to allies in the row. On the enemy side. Okay, so you put it on the enemy side if they have space. Uh, deal four to it. And then it's going to deal 8 to all allies in their row. Interesting. And it's consume. It's very cheap. Very, very cheap. Dealing 8 could be kind of crazy, but also, I mean, you have to kill it for 4. So it's kind of an interesting trade-off. Uh, I like all of these. They're all quite cheap. I think Shade Wisp has potential. Um... You do something to sacrifice. Frostbell seems insane. Uh, let's see how much we have left. 24 Sheep Hopper. Yeah, sure. Alright. So, quite a bit of cards added. Hopefully our deck doesn't get too... diluted. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, let's see. Got Shayun. Mr. Mime. So this is a, a companion I'm going to want to cycle after uh, the block is removed. Which is good because I, I feel like I never <laughs> cycle my companions. <laughs> Um, apply two shell to all allies, deal damage equal to your shell, okay. You definitely don't want the shell witch doing stuff. Uh, we'll block here, I think. And... Let's see. Do I want to blizzard that? Maybe. That might, that might be worth. Just prevent the shell there. Blocking for four seems good here. It's gonna attack for barrage, it's quite good. Aimless. Uh, do I wanna hit somebody for two or do I wanna just heal my team? Hitting for two seems kind of unnecessary, so maybe plus three health seems quite like fine. Okay, so he's gonna attack, let's reroll. Okay, we can get Monch out. Monch is good. Or do I want to have my 
hero attack this turn. He's got six. He's only dealing like three. He's dealing two. Yeah, so I think I, I'll play Munch, tank the hit with Mr. Mime, and then cycle him. Oh, he dies? Oh, I forgot about his mechanic. Ah, bummer. Uh, so Palm Bomb is insane here. Uh, he's going to apply three. Oh, this actually hits everybody because they're all at full health. Fantastic. And then Barrage will be great to finish up next turn. Um, nice. So we'll do Sunburst here, Barrage. I want actually the order to go differently. This should, uh, whoops. Should clear out everybody on this row. Attacks first, then Jinjin. Nice. Um, we'll have Monch eat Jinjin here. Uh, let's put them in a row by themselves. And then Tar Blade here is great, because I don't want him healing everybody. Very nice. Um, I think I'll redraw, yeah. Bot mask? Yeah. Takes a hit. And then we'll summon Fallow, I guess. Nice hit. Bogo! One hit gain, one. So yeah, we want to one shot that guy. Oh man, how do I do this? I can only summon it in that row, huh? Uh, I want a copy of the Shell Witch. Yeah. Can you give me, can you give me some Shell? So Munch is about to eat. Do I want him to eat Fallow? Is the question. I mean, I feel like stacking... more big stuff on Monch is the way to go. He's gonna eat that, and he's a big boy. Uh, very, very big boy. Okay, this is great. Shell Witch. Uh, let's get Tusk out here so Monch can, can deal some damage back. Ah. <laughs> totally makes sense. Remember, you can heal your companions by recalling them. That's right. Thank you for reminding me, because I literally never do that. Let's reroll. Why would I want to recall my companions? They're so effective. Frostbell? Frostbell seems great. Let's do that. Goodbye. Uh, he's gonna hit hard. But I can just tank this, like so. Oh man, I gotta get you out of the way. Ooh. Just only put it in the back, huh? Oh wow, okay, so this actually means... Oh my goodness. Well, it doesn't matter now, because I'm just gonna explode everybody. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious, actually. 
He's gonna overburn and just destroy everything. And poor Mr. Mime. But I mean, injured doesn't really matter. Because his, uh, his whole point is that he has the block. All right, leech mask. Summon leech on the side, on the enemy side. Take two from all allies. Interesting. So like you can actually kind of summon stuff that deals AOE damage. Numlin, add a Numlin to your card in your hand. Oh, Numlin is so good, right? I remember this being insane. Trigger one and alley on the road. Yeah, Newman Newman's great. We're gonna we're gonna pick up the Newman. Uh, do I want a charm? Yeah, let's let's get another charm. Static upgrades to your cards that don't increase a card slot is. Oh my god, who are you? You're so cool looking, like freaking Princess Mononoke. Okay. Chikichi, adorable. When sacrificed, summon Chikani. Chikani uh, is a 4-4. When sacrificed, summon Chikisan. I don't know who that is, but this sounds like excellent food for Monch. Uh, and I guess we'll have to, to save this fierce tiger princess for another day. Bonnie. Also cute. Restore two health to all allies. That seems quite good, but uh, we're we're feeding Monch. Monch is gonna carry us. Chicky. -chi. Um, we're gonna drop Snoof. Wait, never mind. Oh, but my Mr. Mime. Do I drop Toss Tusk? I mean, Tusk is really good. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna drop Tusk for now and see how it feels. But maybe, maybe we'll swap him back in. Let's get a charm. Snowball charm. Uh, apply one snow. That's really good. Um, we can definitely apply that to our leader because the barrage is insane. Yeah. Shayun. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, this is the teeth round. These guys are scary. Uh, I'm gonna need to get some tanks up quickly. Uh, par bomb, palm bomb, super good. Shade whisk. While active, add aim whisk to all enemies. While active, add three teeth to all enemies. Grab it. Grab this. This is awesome. It's gonna attack. I need a tank for that. So let's put an egg here. Unfortunately, the pom bomb will not hit the grumble anymore. But maybe that's okay. Summon a gen gen. Pom bomb seems quite fine. Deal two. Very nice. Um, oops, died. 
save this, but that's fine. Is it in a bottle? Let's reroll. There's Monch. Hello, Monch. Let's get you out here. Ah, uh, one second. Um... So... I think we're going to play... Our Bebop Mask. Very nice. Now when we tar blade this guy, he should explode. Should be pretty good. Does a little bit of damage to everybody. Uh, he's only attacking for one, which is okay. attacking for two when hit gain teeth these guys actually have a pretty low attack <clears throat> but the teeth is kind of uh, not great because my my boss is actually gonna die here I don't really want him to attack uh, but he applies snow when he attacks which should uh, that doesn't block the counter. Actually, I don't know how to do this. Uh, Shayun might just die right here. That would that would suck quite a bit from all those teeth. I need to kill Marrow is actually what I need to do. So I think if we kill the marrow here, then the teeth will be removed, and then Shayun's attack will not kill himself, because he doesn't have any teeth on his own, or at least he's going to gain... Actually, Dreg might just kill him. I think we're okay here. He's going to attack first, 2-1. Uh, I think this is fine. Let's go ahead and uh, frost spell these guys. Woo! Close. I'm living with one, but this is uh, kind of sus. <clears throat> Trigger when hit. So he attacks for five when he gets hit. That's kind of scary. Uh, we need some blockers here. Get our chicky chi, chi out. And sacrifice. Not when he dies, it's when he's sacrificed, so. Let's see here. Ooh, this is this is really not great. <clears throat> we want to trigger a sheep hopper? Not really. Alright, let's see how this goes. Berry Bell could be good. I 
Okay, I definitely need to freeze this maw jaw. Maja's gonna eat first, that's good. Yeah, this freeze is gonna be super important. So he's up to three. Um, I want to heal. He's gonna attack for five. Ooh, do I deploy Mr. Mime to tank this five attack? Yeah, I think I do. Fantastic. Okay, so we can cycle you now. He has three teeth. He's gonna attack for here. Definitely want to frost spell these guys, but do I need to do it now? I think I can actually summon another fallow first. Fallow is quite nice. Okay, let's frost spell here. So put Shayun here. Uh, Fallow should attack first. Oh man, the teeth is kind of uh, not great. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so I need him to die first. So maybe it's like this. <clears throat> what is he triggering? What is this countdown for? Trigger when hit. Just attack. Attack for five. Maybe it's like this. I think this does it. Okay, we're alive. Whew, okay. The, the snow counter is so huge uh, to block the, the The teeth here. <clears throat> okay, so we got Jinjin out. I think we're doing okay. Only got the one health, but I think we're alive. He's gonna respond for five. He's gonna attack for five also, or three. Maybe that's okay. the bebop max out tank that hit oh so he only attacks the front enemy that might be okay all right we're 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 getting there Watch is gonna eat and attack. And so he'll gain a bunch of health first. And then he's gonna hit pretty hard. I think I think we're okay here. I think we just slap here. Nice. Nice. Wow, Chikashi just like keeps scaling. <clears throat> Recover from injuries. Nice. Okay, we're coming up the moss. Let's see here. Some gold. Very nice. Uh, I don't have any room for more companions, so let's grab a charm. Ah, <laughs> oh, Numlin charm. So good. 
Uh, what's our free card that we really want to be able to play? <clears throat> uh, any of these guys being free could be incredibly good. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Berry Bell, maybe, for some healing. Some just-in-time healing. Just like a free heal. Frost Bell. Seems okay. Or do we want to be able to summon immediately? I don't really use the Sunburst that much. Let's give it to the Berry Bell. I don't know. I can't really think of a card. But like, having a bit of healing is great, and not having to spend an entire turn to do it seems pretty good. Alright, let's see what we can buy. Got, got a, quite a bit of money. <clears throat> okay, so Ice Dice again. Tiger Skull. Kill an ally. Apply four teeth to a random ally. I'm not really that interested in that. Uh, we might go for the berry blade this time. Blaze tea, frenzy. Frenzy is a frenzy good on any of my. I already have some decent frenzy targets. Uh, maybe my boss, my leader. Please, T. Um, let's equip the crown. I'm gonna get Monch in there. Since Monch is our like main win condition, we're gonna try and get him out ASAP. And then do a charm. Bite charm. Start with four teeth. Uh, yeah, sure, we can definitely give that to Monch. I think we're just stacking Monch, yo. It's gonna be our main, main dude. This, uh, let's get another charm and the berry blade. Hook charm, gain yank. Full target to front. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, interesting. I like the idea of like summoning one of their backline units, which is really effective, but then also hooking it to the front so we can kill it quickly. So let's do that. Seems like a nice two in one. All right, boss time. <clears throat> All right, it is the poison boss, Truffle. Uh, break into two cards with half a status and effects. So he's basically gonna split a bunch Got Monch out. Oh, great. We can apply four, destroy self. At four turns, Shroom Gobbler, whenever anything takes damage from Shroom, game one attack. I think first thing we do is summon the Cheeky so we can start getting him stacked. And then we'll sunburst here. Uh. Oh. 
What? Oh no, I didn't think about that. Oh man. I forgot to move my leader. Quick restart. No. Man. Well, that was a bit of a shame. Ah, oh, man, the monch, the monstrats. The monch. Ah, oh, well. Well, that's all right. We'll end this episode here. A bit of a bummer. I would have liked to see more of the monch strat, but unfortunately, we did kind of lose out on quite a bit of the footage in the middle. So we'll just keep this as a short episode and try again with a new run. Uh, let's see what new pet we got. We got Bushu, Mushu, uh, restore three hearts to all allies. Having a little healing could be very good. Uh, I do like that. Yo, how do I get this green fox dude? Is he going to be a pet I can have later? Be cool. Uh, deal a thousand damage to unlock the last tribe. Okay, we're working on it. We're working on it. Add three clunkers to your deck. Uh, where are clunkers? Oh, that's a that's a, a different card, huh? Equip ten charms. Okay, five more should be okay. Hello. Got your name. Okay. All right. We'll call it here. Try again next time. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, see you guys next time.